Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 33, I think. <laughs> Always forget. I'm back again in my kitchen. It's a little messy uh, because the lighting is bad and Jesse's here. You can probably hear him grunting. He's playing with the thing that drinks. Um, so I can't sit in the living room or something because I don't have any tables to put all this stuff on and he would get into it. Yeah. So I got I got all the windows open trying to add more light in the house and I got the weird bright light in front of the sink on <laughs> to try to light it up. I was trying to film in there on the back of the stove but it was just too dark and um, which stinks because I don't like being in the kitchen I'm so afraid that he's going to knock something into like the sink water or something. But um, it sounds like he's ripping that box open so I'm going to have to take that away from him in a few minutes. But anyways. Welcome back to everybody. Uh, welcome to all the returning subscribers and welcome to all the new people. I just reached over 700 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, if he rips up, I'm going to have to get it because he'll shake the drinks up and today might explode. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm not feeling 100% today. I've got a headache. I've had one. I think my blood pressure is giving me issues again. I've, I've had a lot of blood pressure issues. Um, on and off since I was like a teenager. So I think they're like rearing their heads again. So I do get like a headache and I've taken some medicine and it's still not really gone away. So I'm going to film this and then go in there and relax and hopefully crochet or something. It's not really hard to rip that box open. But um, I don't think I have any important announcements to say here in the front. I got that. You got it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I got my notes right here. Oh, and I don't know if you guys have noticed I've moved. I used to part my hair down the middle. But I've, in the last episode in this one, I've moved it to the side. Because in a few weeks, I'm getting my hair cut. So I'm trying to train my part to lay the way I want it for the haircut that I want. So that's why my hair is parted weird and like held back in a pony's house. Because I'm trying to keep this hair laying flat to where it'll part the way I want it to. Does that make sense? Okay. Alright, I have three finished objects. And, um, technically... Well, yeah, because the, the little ones aren't finished yet. So just three. Three hundred percent finished, except one doesn't have any of the ends when he was in. So I guess two a hundred percent finished. Well, actually... Okay, I have one a hundred percent finished project. I have one that needs a couple of things added in a backing. And the last one needs its ends woven in. So I only have one 100% finished object. But three that I'm counting as finished objects because the stuff that I have to do to them aren't crochet related other than weaving in ends. Okay, just make sure he's not getting into those drinks. He had two Mountain Dews the other day and he shook them up so much that they were really tight. I was afraid they were going to explode. I don't know if Mountain Dews do that, but I know Cokes and stuff does. But, um, those are the drinks Devin wants taking a work with. Anyways. Stop. You stuck? I get it. That's because it's locked. Yeah. I got it. You got it? He just woke up from a nap. His little face is real pink because he was asleep in his bed. But he, he woke up and came down the hallway and was all whiny. So I picked him up and we were sitting on the couch and he felt like asleep. So I sat there and held him for a little while and then I laid him back down and was cleaning and stuff and then he just woke up. Alright, my first finished object. This is the one that doesn't have the ends woven in obviously there's a lot of ends on this side more than there should be because i was using bobbins but i had a bunch of little random bits of black and the red it's really blown out and i wanted to use them up i didn't want to waste them so bless you a bunch of times Oop, i never did finish that off let me close that real fast okay um anyways i just used up a bunch of random balls just to, to use them up so that they wouldn't get bless you are you doing <laughs> they wouldn't get wasted. Um, although I would have put them in my bag to use as stuffing, but still, I wanted to go ahead and use them. So there are. Um, you got it. There are more ends on this than there should be, but I'm okay with that. I'll probably when he's napping later, or when he actually goes to bed tonight, I will uh, weave in the ends. But yeah, this is the part of my grease crochet along blanket I started last July, I think it was. This is this is supposed to be the paint on the side of the Scorpion's car, like the like rival gang's car. I'm sure you know that. Everybody knows Grace. But I actually really like this square and it was really simple. It was only four colors. Just checking. He stopped and got quiet so I needed to do it. It's okay. 
But this yellow is Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow. The orange is Red Heart Super Saver Pumpkin, I think. The red is Mainstays Red, and the black is Mainstays Black. And this red isn't that crazy looking in real life. It's actually a really pretty red. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a flame. This is the same size if any of you have watched before of the comb that I did. You can't get it, Baba. You don't need them there. I'm going to end up having to move this. But, um, I got it. Did you get it? If you get it, Mom's going to put it up. <laughs> Anyways, this is, the pattern it is written by, um, I can't, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but it's Chaos and Chop Suey is her brand name. <laughs> it is the pay for pattern. Almost, almost, almost. What? This? There you go. Can you get it off of there? You want to help? Here, Mama, help you. Ooh, don't drop it. There's the broom. And there's the dustpan. <laughs> Little broom and dustpan that I keep hanging on the wall to pick up, you know, like cereal and stuff when he spills. Mess. You gonna clean up the mess? Okay. You can clean all the messes up if you want to. Anyways, this is a paid for pattern. Uh, it's kind of costly in the realm of patterns, you know. It's seven, I think it's seven dollars. But I think it's worth it. I love grease and I'm gonna love this blanket if I ever finish it. But I don't know if I'm ever gonna finish it. I don't know what's, what part of this blanket I'm going to work on next. I did take some time last night to look at the patterns and pick up the ones that I wanted to make to make the blanket. And I, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I made a file on my computer of all the ones I want to make. And I'm trying to think of some that I can maybe make myself because there's a couple of squares that I don't really care for. But I need them to make the blanket complete. So I might try to make my own. I mean, they're just pixel images. You can draw it and paint. You just have to have the right size. Um, so, I'm going to be working on that the rest of the year and probably some next year. Unless I, you know, really get going. Because there is a big square one. If you've watched before, my big ride out square. It's two. It's like one of those stacked on each, on top of another. Long, tall, <laughs> and the same width. And it's a jukebox. And I don't want to make it because it has so many color changes that I'm going to try to avoid making that one. I'm sorry. It's okay. I heard he says I'm sorry for everything. Okay, that was my finished object. <laughs> Did I already? Yeah, I said he made that. Oh, it's made with H hook, which I don't have it. I already took it out of that bag. It's just not even a bag anymore. Well, it's a bag. It still exists. <laughs> it's my uh, snap, uh, limited edition snappy bag is in there. But I used the hook for something else. Can't remember. So it's in my hook jug. But I'll have to get it back out. It's my grease themed hook. It's pink ladies. All right, next. This one is, if you watch Randy, you will see it's familiar. I actually made one of these years ago. Let's see here. Four years ago, because I made it for my cousin who was pregnant at the time for her son. Uh, so, and then Randy makes them all the time and sells them. So I just thought I would make one. Because I might be putting a few items in a craft show coming up that um, kind of my, my grandmother-in-law is, uh, she sells reefs like made out of ribbons and bows and stuff um and she's she already bought a table at this fair that's coming up and she said if i wanted to give her some of my stuff to put in it she will sell it for me so i thought i might make a few things and this is one of them it's a zero lovey um the one i made years ago i followed the pattern and it came out humongous and real holy like you can see the stuffing because the pattern and it is it's a free pattern it's called zero lovey by jamie payne the original pattern calls to, for you to use, I think, an I or a J hook, which for something that's amigurumi ish is huge. You know, that leaves big holes. Oh, no. So I think I went. I can't, remember, I can't remember if I used a G or a H. I just made this the day before yesterday. I made it. I was just watching Bates Motel and I was finishing it up. I finally finished watching it and it's so good. But now I miss it. I wish I had it to watch again. But, um, so I just, I was sitting there watching it and made this little guy. And I was going to go ahead and make another one that night, but I was, I got distracted doing something. It was already too late by the time I was going to start it. So I did just, I made it exactly the way the pattern calls for, except I just changed the hook size so that it wouldn't be so holy. And I think it turned out a cute side. And I sold the head on like crazy because I'm always afraid that stuff that I sew on going to fall off. <laughs> and I sold everything on like crazy. And I did make crochet eyes. But I think it's cute. I love Zero. Everybody loves Nightmare for Christmas. I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. Period. I have like all of his movies. And 
I just, I just love anything that that thing creates. <laughs> but, um, this movie came out in 93, and I've been watching it since. I was born in 1990, and it's one of my favorite movies. I always love this movie. Yeah, I think he turned out cute. And I do remember the last one I made was significantly larger than this. But I think this is a good size. It looks like a little ghost dog. Oh. But yeah, super cute. Okay. I want to make like a couple more. Yeah. It's okay. It's he apologizes for everything. Oh. And I guess I taught him that. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I hate it that he feels the need to apologize. But yeah, I'm going to try to make a few more of those before that fair. If I do decide to put stuff in it. Because it's a popular show. And technically it's a licensed Disney thing. So I could get sued for selling it. But you know, Disney's not going to find out unless someone tells them. So shh. But, um, I'm also, another whip I'm making is I'm going to try to make, like, a bunch of them for it because it's an Earth Day event and it has to do with that. My last, you want to hang it back up? The nail is right up there. You can't reach it. I did it. Yeah. No, but I did it. Why don't you go the living room floor? Oh, God. I got it. Yeah. My last finished object is my bunny ears flag. I think he's cute. Oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. This is the bunny ears dec decor, I think is what it's called. That's a flag. <laughs> By Heidi Yates, as usual. It is paint pattern. But, um, I made it with an eye hook, and then I'll tell the yards in a minute. But I did make it different. If you've seen the pattern, his ears, there's another part you're supposed to crochet that makes it look like they're folded over, but, you know, it's just solid white, or whatever color you use. I didn't want to do that because I just I wanted it just to be regular bunny ears and then um, his eyes in the pattern were little tiny like beady eyes and I, I wanted bigger eyes so those are buttons and what else did I do different he didn't have a mouth in the pattern but I, I wanted to have a little smirk I thought his little sideways smirk was cute now this is one that's not 100% finished <laughs> this all my flags I like to back them with felt because like these ends I didn't weave out, just knot them and then I hot glue felt over it. Just because it gives it more, it makes it stiffer and plus it makes it to where when it's hanging on the wall you don't see the wall or the bunny or whatever. So I do got to get some white felt to line this with. Elephant? 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 Where go? Mama put it in her bedroom. She'll have to go get it in a minute. And then I want to put, I got to put a dowel. I got to go get his elephant. I'll be right back. Ah! I'm going to fuck over. Come on, I'll get your elephant. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> His elephant is a um a nightlight thing that like they used to be turtles, but then I guess they redesigned it for elephants. Oh, I'm sorry, I was really close. But it's like a nightlight and it makes noises. I just got it from today because. His room is really dark, and he's used to sleeping in the dark. But when I go in there to like change his diaper in the middle of the night, um, he pees through like crazy. And we use nighttime diapers, uh, pull-ups or whatever. And the kid fills it up, and sometimes pees out of it. I'm always washing his bedding. Luckily, we got a uh, mattress liner cover thingy, <laughs> but I still have to wash that thing like crazy, you know, like with soapy rag. Anyways. I got him that because I thought it would be useful for me when I'm in there dealing with him to turn the light on. And, you know, he would think it's cute or pretty and soothing or whatever. Anyways, I got um, <laughs> I gotta line him with felt and then put the dowel. But I will do that next weekend probably. So he'll be all ready for Saint, the day after St. Patrick's Day to hang up. So that'll be next Sunday. Yeah. The 18th. To move the pot of gold thing and put this there. I'm thinking about making another one of these but in a different color. But I made this little bow tie. That was cute. I did make the bow tie a little different too. You waving at them? You oh, probably hit the little bow He's got it over there. Alright. Red Heart Super Saver White. This is a Red Heart Super Saver but I can't remember. It's like a really fuchsia-ish pinky color. This down here is a Premier Yarn but I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's like something confetti. Or something like that. And then the black is Red Heart Super Saver Black. And I just split it to two strands. So I, that they'd be thinner for his whiskers and his smirk. <laughs> but yeah. And I just sold his eyes on with Red Heart Super Saver. Yeah. You know, I should have done it with white. And it might have looked 
No, that might have been creepy. I don't know. <laughs> Every time I see Button Eyes, I think about Coraline, another Tim Burton movie. Because all the other people have Button Eyes. But, yeah, he's pretty much done. I just got to back him and put a thing to make him hang up. But yeah, I don't. I want to make another one. I even thought about using the head shape, which is it's rounded off at the bottom, and making it yellow, and then making like a pointer thing to make a beak and make it kind of put like a tuft of pom pommy like fluff up there, and try to make it look like a chicken or like a chick. Bye. I might, I might not. I may just make another bunny. I may not even make another bunny. Who knows? <laughs> Alright, that's all my finished objects. So we will go ahead and go into whips. Uh, okay. I was doing some sewing this week too. So I'll... Alright, we'll just do this one. This is living in my candy corn bag. Not my candy cane bag. I've said that a few times. I made this bag. It's just got an orange inside. It's playing with his elephant. Alright, this is another Easter thing. These are the kind of almost finished objects I was thinking about earlier, but then they're curly because they need to be flattened out good. These are going to be a garland. I plan on making two or three in each color. And they're just, I got these two purple ones done. This is a, I love this yarn something. I don't know what the name is. It's a really pretty purple. But they're little bunnies, and on the pattern they have a face, but I'm not going to do a face. I'm just going to make a little pom pom on each one of them, like white or something, and make it look like the back side of a bunny and I'm just gonna make three or two or three of each color and like make a pattern to hang over that where I always hang my girls. So I got two purple ones and I'm gonna make yellow. This is a Red Heart Super Saver yellow. I don't know if this, this may be pale yellow. I'm not exactly sure. This is a I love this yarn blue. I'm not sure what it is. It's a scrap. And it's, <laughs> it's like a bluey green color. And then I got a Red Heart Super Saver pink, and it's like a pale, oh, I started one, I forgot that I started another, I started a pink one. <laughs> and I'm using the hook that my sister bought me, it looks like chocolate hearts. That's an e-hook. And then this is the last color I picked out, which is another, I love this yarn, it's like a minty green color. I've picked out a bunch of pastels, just Easter egg colors, so I'm wanting to make like two or three in each. And just give them pom-pom tails and, you know, put them on a chain or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just winging it. But that is a pattern. Let's see here. That's the Marshmallow Bunny by Copper Scale Dragon. It's a free pattern. Um, yeah, it's cute. It's in my bag. Put that right there. Alright, we'll talk about Snappy. Miss Super Snappy is living in my cat bag that I made. It is my first zipper bag and it's... Definitely, you can tell it's the first one because the zipper is all squoggly and not straight, and there's parts of it that are kind of not sewed on there. Really, your milk is. We're not. We don't have no more chocolate milk. We don't have no more. You drank it all this morning. You drank it all this morning. You want a piece of chocolate? Chocolate. You want a regular piece of chocolate? No, we don't have chocolate milk. We drink it this morning. You want an M&M's? Yeah, it's a big old piece of chocolate. Go eat that. Chocolate. <laughs> oh. What's your hand? Yeah. Go eat that one. Alright. Yeah. Miss Super Snappy. It's got orange inside. I iron all these. I don't pre-wash my fabrics on them. But I don't ever intend on washing these other than like spot washing them. So I'm not worried. I'm not a professional bag maker. So I guess I should start doing that. <laughs> Anyways, I did work on Snappy a little bit. But her hair involves loop stitches, which I hate. So I kind of took an angry break from her. I haven't worked on her since last week. She's tangled up. I think I'm using an H hook for her. H or I, I can't remember. So there's the front. This is the whole front part of her body. You know, without appendages. This is like her underwear that you can see under her jacket, her torso, her head, her front of her hair. And I just started working on the part of the head that will turn because it's made in ragdoll style. 
and instead of two panels it's like one big strip that you fold over and sew on and stuff but yeah it's getting there it's just I got this far and then I have to do all of this again but on that side and I hate loop stitches Ugh, it takes forever but yeah there she is <laughs> she is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates um, I'm making her for the fair the yarns are all Red Heart Super Saver except the skin color that's I love this yarn like peach this is amethyst I know it's really blown out but I'm not sure what this I think this is cafe latte or something like that and I do have other colors for her but I don't have them pulled out yet because I'm not to that point so when I get to that point I'll tell you what they are see I'm hoping to get that done pretty soon the worst part I think is the hair and then once the hair goes it's just pretty much panels and stuff so uh, it'll be easy after her hair in theory all right next actual whip okay I'm gonna pull out another grease square just haven't figured it out I mentioned that and this bag does this is my skeleton bag that I made and it's just got a black inside this does have all the yarn already in it for my next Christmas square for the the cow that Terry at Yarn Journal Podcast is doing, and it's, the next square is a snowman. I almost said Santa. Oh, uh, wait, did it Santa? I got all the colors already picked out. I just haven't started it, so it's not technically a whip yet. But um, I'm pretty much following the pattern by colors, uh, except the background. I think I'm gonna make this color red, which is not that red. <laughs> this is cherry red, so it's like a dark red. Because all of my backgrounds, each square is gonna have. A mainstay is a gray background, a red heart super saver, delft blue, or a red heart super saver, cherry red. Just so that there's not crazy amounts of weird random colors in there. I'm just gonna stick to the three background colors. I think. I don't know. I'll see in the, after I start get ready to start the fourth square, I guess. But this is the third square in our cow, and I'll pop up a picture over here of what it's supposed to look like. Alright, my last whip. Those back in my whip bucket. This one up. Yeah, this is actually a whip in a whip because this, the bag it's in is a whip because I haven't. I gotta put the casing for the drawstrings and the drawstrings in it, and it's gonna be a drawstring bag. I just didn't uh, box the corners. This material is one that my sister bought me. She bought me two fat quarters of this cute popsicle material and the pink that's on the inside. And I made this the other day. I just I quit to like eat or something and then I never went back to it to do the um the finishing parts and I did it to two other bags too. But I'll show you those in a minute. But what's in here I did out. This is the other thing I was gonna make for the Earth Day thing coming up. Um there's a lot of ends because I was I was messing around with ways of carrying my yarn and then I just decided that I'm just gonna cut it and because it's gonna be the inside look, of a stuffy. Look. Or maybe I'm carrying it. I'm carrying it. Want your milk? Can you tell what it's gonna be? <laughs> it's gonna be a little earth stuffy. I'll pop up a picture right here where it's gonna look like. But I just, I just started. Yes, baby. Do you hear him say, excuse me? I'll get you your milk in just one second. I just had this mark in the front side before I started carrying my yarn, so now I know which side's the backyard. But, um,. That's what all these these little tails are. I was trying to figure out a way to do it, and then since it's going to be a stuffy, I'm just going to carry the yarn, and you know it'll be hidden. But um, yeah, so this is like the bottom half of the earth. <laughs> but if this pattern comes out looking the way it's supposed to look, I might try to make excuse me like five or six of them to try to sell it that thing. It is an Earth Day event, and all the money raised that day, like from the booth sales. Not the people's products, but you know, like the rentals of the booths go to uh, the clean water initiative or whatever in the city. <laughs> but yeah, this bag's gonna be super cute once I get it done. Alright, go back to other bags. I think I got a yarn fuzz up my nose. This is more material my sister bought me. She bought me a lot of material that I started making a bag out of and didn't finish it. And it's an Easter material, it's got little bunnies. And the inside is flowers. I did box it. And it's going to be a drawstring off. So I just got to make, you know, I got to sew it on there. I already got the strips cut out and everything. I just didn't sew them on there that day. That's one. And then this next bag, um, this material she bought me uh, a while ago. Um, 
and I was messing around with the shapes and I made this one. It's the Tsum Tsum material. It's not been pressed, so the inner part's sticking up. I made it wide and short because of the way the material was facing. And it would look weird as a drawstring, you know, it would be like bunched up weird. So I'm going to go back and put a zipper in the top to make it a big long zipper bag. <laughs> and um, I got, I, that was two, that was half of a yard, so I'm going to use the other half of the yard to make another bag, but I'm going to make it this way. The pattern will be that way, but I want to make a drawstring bag. So yeah, and it's just blue. I did buy the blue. <laughs> she bought me the same thing though. So I got those three made, and then she bought me a lot of other material, and I'll show you. This is my only acquisitions. Some of them are being are holding the phone up. There's two just blue colors, like the inside of the Simpson bag, and then there's one of these under the camera. And it's just flamingo. She got me two of these. I love flamingos. Here's more. She got me two fat quarters of this flamingo pattern. I'm trying to make bags out of. She got me two blues. Did she give me these or did I buy these? No, I bought these. Yeah, I bought these with this cupcake one. That's just in my stack. <laughs> I've had this is for that um, crochet along that I'll be doing with Mo at uh, I don't remember her username. Mo something. I'll link it. <laughs> I think the iCard pops up over there. We're doing a cake walk starting in April 14th through October 14th. And this is the only cake material I can find. I'm going to keep looking for actual cake. But if I can't find any, the winner will get a bag made out of this with some yarn. And then this other material she got me, which I think this is so cute, is bunnies wearing glasses. Two of those two. Two fat quarters. And then I think this is the last that she got me. It's two fat quarters of this pretty lemon print. So I want to, I had planned the day that Jesse was at my mom's to make a ton of bags, but by the time I got those three done, I was getting tired and um, I didn't even finish those three. So I'm going to finish those. I might do that later today. And then I want to start making some of these other bags. I do need to get some more lining material for these. Like I want to get like a yellow for this and a blue or a gray for that one. And uh, the other Simpson bag for that. Um, just whenever. I don't know. I'll make bags eventually. There's a couple of these are going to be, uh, gifts. There's one person that messaged me on Ravelry. Uh, Barbara is her name. Hi, Barbara, if you're watching. <laughs> she, uh, we're going to do like a craft swap. So she, she and I, I'm probably going to make her bag. I don't know if I'm going to use one of these materials. So if you're watching this, Barbara, I may not, I may not have ruined a surprise. But, um, I'm going to find something to make a bag out of. Because I like making people bags. Even though I've only done it once. But like in theory, I kind of like making people bags. <laughs> Maybe my finish objects all over. To my stack art, I think that's everything that I needed to talk about. Um, I don't have any announcements that I can think of. <laughs> and I don't have any life updates really. Well, I guess I have kind of a lot. Um, not a life update, but an announcement. I made a video someday <laughs> and put it out another day I can't remember I have a bad memory about something like that but it was this, 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 blah, 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 blah. this last week um and it was just a crochet and talk or crochet and chat and I got a lot of positive feedback about that a lot of people enjoyed it so I will probably I mean I know I'm gonna make more I just don't know exactly when um hopefully probably this weekend because like tomorrow's well today for y'all tomorrow for me is Friday and Jesse usually goes to Devin's dad's house on Fridays so, if he goes there, I might do one Friday or Saturday, whenever he goes. And, um, I'll try to start doing those more often because a lot of people like them. And I like watching on or and mostly listening to them. Because when, um, like when other people put them up, I crochet along with it. You know, that's the point of it is to crochet along or whatever. Craft along. Clean along. Whatever you want to do. And just listen to someone talk. And it's like you're having an actual visit from somebody. <laughs> and, um, that's important for someone like me. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom to a toddler. And Devin lives here, obviously, but I only see him throughout the week for like a couple hours before he goes to work. And then by the time he comes home from work, we're already in bed. So, I only have adult interaction for like a couple hours every day. And every day now and then, you know, like usually once a week from someone other than Devin. So, um, it's good to feel like I'm actually 
making friends with someone and communicating with someone who isn't my family member. <laughs> but um, and I've noticed that a lot of the crocheters in this community are stay-at-home moms, which I guess is kind of, you know, like a half and half. Um, and a lot of them homeschooled, which was interesting. Uh, I was homeschooled. My mom homeschooled us, and we're considering homeschooling Jesse. We haven't 100% made up our minds. We would love to put him in a private school, especially an um, alternative education kind of school, but there's none like that anywhere around us. We would have to move two or three hours away from where we live to put him in a school like that. And, you know, that's not in our budget. <laughs> so, um... I might homeschool them, I don't know, it depends on if I can find homeschool community around us that isn't just 100% religious based and where he can have communication and I can have communication with other moms and dads that are homeschooling because that's important to me, you know, I want him to have friends and stuff and I want him to have playmates, you know, I want him to be sociable and all that stuff. Not that I was unsociable, how do you say that word, <laughs> but um... You know, I just want him to have friends and stuff. And I want it to be in a community that's not 100%, you know, shoving religion down your throat. Um, because, you know, he'll he'll make up his mind of what he wants to believe when he gets older. But, um, yeah, that was totally random. <laughs> but uh, it's just interesting to see that a lot of us are really similar people from all over the place. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here, I guess. It's been 31 minutes. Um, I've talked, I feel like, I always feel like I'm not talking about anything and then I look up and it's been like half an hour. I wish I could make longer videos because I love watching the long ones like, like Hannah and Claudia and Gerald, Gerard. What's his other ones? I like his other names. I think that's so cool that he has so many different names. But I love those people who make really long ones. Like some of them go in almost to two hours and I enjoy that because I can sit and crochet easily and watch that whole thing and listen to most of it you know look up when they're showing stuff and you know it's just enjoyable it makes my crochet time fly by faster which is a good thing you know it makes me you know I sit there and get a lot of work done and it seems like I'm not because I'm listening to the video does that make sense but yeah <laughs> he's in there playing I can hear him I'm gonna hop off here and put all this stuff up I have a big tower I'm gonna try to show you this right here this tote is a box that I keep my whips in and my white and black yarn. I always keep my white and black yarn separated out from all my other yarn because this I use it all the time, especially for like these type of things or amigurumis. So I always keep white and black in there and my whips and stuff like this notebook, things that I use every week on the video. And my finished objects I usually stuff down in there. That's just my box that I carry around when I'm filming. <laughs> but um yeah. I already said I'm going to leave, so I guess I should leave. <laughs> Alright, my links will be below. All the links for the patterns and stuff that I mentioned will be below. If I forget to put one down there, just yell at me in the comments and tell me and I will find it for you. Because I do do that sometimes. But also, my links will be down below. My Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, my Instagram, and my Facebook group. <laughs> my Facebook group is um, the most active because it's easier for me to use Facebook on my phone than it is for me to do the other stuff. So, and plus... I don't know. I just like Facebook. I'm on it all the time anyways. But, um, so go join the group if you haven't already. Every time I hit 100 new members, right now we're at 122, so I've only done it once. But every time I get 100 members, I'm going to do a pattern giveaway. Amy won it last time when we hit 100. She picked out a really cute Hungry Caterpillar baby swaddle thing. So, yeah, if you want to try to win a pattern, you know, invite your friends and all that. Your fiber friends don't add random people to the group because that would be weird. <laughs> uh, and oh speaking of giveaways I am still planning on having a giveaway especially now that I've hit 700 subscribers it's just I still feel like I need to have more stuff to go in it and I do plan on getting snacks and stuff but like I said I'm going to wait to see who wins so I don't get them something they're allergic to because that would suck but um I got a whole bag of stuff in there and I got one thing in here I gotta dig out to put in it but I think I will be making the video for that and announcing the actual official giveaway after St. Patrick's Day It'll be the second to the last week of March. So, I, I can't see my calendar. My calendar's hanging right over there. But it's, yeah. Probably during the 20s of March. 
maybe that Monday. I don't know. I'm not going to put a specific date, but be looking for it around the week after St. Patrick's Day because I want to be able to ship it <laughs> on a week that we don't have a lot of stuff to come out just in case someone from another country wins and it costs like 50 bucks to ship it. <laughs> um, I want to be able to afford to do it as soon as possible. And let's see here. I will start it and then two weeks later I will draw the name. And then as soon as that name is drawn and the person has contacted me, I will ship it out the next business day that I get to the, uh, you know, like if it's not a sad Sunday, <laughs> to the post office. But, um, yeah, I think that's everything that I want to talk about. So it's been 35 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to edit this a little bit <laughs> and uh, add in links and all that fun stuff and pictures. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will for sure be next Friday. Well, I say that, but you know, you never know what might happen. It's almost definitely going to be next Friday, but maybe before then because I, I really like the crochet talk and uh, y'all seem to like it too. And I might make some other video. I don't know. I'm just babbling now, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.